Welcome to our Bid to Build auction. Due to the ongoing situation with COVID-19, we are once again excited to bring people together safely by hosting our auction online. Please sit back and enjoy our brief video presentation. You'll watch me present the Golden Hammer Honoree Award to this year's honoree, the amazing Jody Stark. Watch a sneak peek of our great auction items, including a Habitat Home Build Day, Operation Playhouse Build Day, and one-of-a-kind painting commissioned just for our auction. You'll also hear from veteran family and future Habitat homeowners, Izzy and Kaylee. 100% of the funds raised from this program directly benefit our mission to build homes, communities, and hope for local families and veterans just like them. Our board president, Brian Clancy, will also share a few words. The Bid to Build online auction will close in less than 24 hours, so be sure to get in those final bids and make a very important fund to need donation before Friday, November 19th at 10 a.m. Remember, when you bid, you're helping us to build. Thank you for your generosity. Hi, I'm Debbie Murga Hoke, and I'm here with Jody Starr who is our 2021 Golden Hammer honoree. The Golden Hammer Award is presented to an extraordinary leader in the community who displays commitment and passion on behalf of the families we serve who need a safe and affordable home. Jody, your passion, enthusiasm, and leadership as a woman in construction and the first woman in Consigli's long history to be promoted to project executive is the perfect fit for our mission to build homes, communities, and hope for local families. With an all-female team, you recently led the renovation of the YWCA in Worcester. While we help all families, many of our homes are led by single women with children. In fact, 83% of our affordable homes are owned by single women, while 53% of the homes are owned by people of color. And as a board member of Girls Inc., you are actively helping to shape the minds of girls throughout our community, exposing them to opportunities and hope. Jody, we are delighted to have you as our 2021 Golden Hammer Award winner, and we look forward to working with you and Consigli Construction on many initiatives. Thank you for bringing your passion, leadership, and enthusiasm to the families we serve through affordable housing and to our auction, which raises critical funds to support our mission to build homes, communities, and hope. Congratulations, Jody, and thank you for your support. Thank you very much. It builds on the two things I love the most, you know, construction and helping the community in which I live. To me, there's no better merge of these two things with an organization like Habitat that I've been working with for years, you know, between Consigli and um, Habitat, all the women build, all the different builds that we've sponsored. But then just in terms of what this is for, the local families, the veterans, who's going to get to use this space uh, after the fact, and particularly being right in Worcester where I've lived and worked for the last 20 plus years, it is so great to be able to be a part of this. The award is just knowing that what you have physically done is part of this major end goal, right? And for us being in construction too, I think we take pride in what we do and how we do it. I had never felt like being a woman in construction was a thing, so it was probably very naive. I see it more now that I'm in that executive role because I see how the younger women in the company look at me. I see that they see that there's a path for them to go. It's just, it's really important to have that representation and that diversity of thought in you know the group and in the company. Construction is all about problem solving. And the more minds you have to solve these problems, it just, the more ideas come, it helps get to a better solution, a more creative solution, and it helps us get there faster. You know, so it's important to have that diversity of thought and creativity in everything that we do. It just, it makes us better. I'm hoping that some young women online, on social media, some young girls, high school, local girls, see this and say, hey, I could do that, whether it be habitat or whether it be construction, because I also still think one of my big passions is exposing young girls to this as an industry, as a career path. I work with Girls Inc. of Worcester for this exact reason and their Eureka program, because I was very lucky 
to stumble on this industry. I did engineering in school, but I knew nothing about construction. And not only did I luck out in what I picked for a career, I lucked out in a company. And I know not everybody is that fortunate. And I want to make sure that they see these opportunities as young as possible. A lot of us live in and around here, so I think it's just so important for us to be able to use our resources, use our talents, you know, and give back to the community we call home. Today we're working with Habitat for Humanity on a uh, three townhouse building. They're working on some of the exterior drainage right now. It's great to have Consigli here today. During the pandemic we had very few groups coming out, so it's great to have that kind of participation from corporate groups to come back and help us build. We have three homes here, we have three families that would like to get moved in here, so the faster we can get it done the better. I really do appreciate everybody that comes out. It makes a huge difference and we could not do it without all of the groups that come out and volunteer. Just getting out here with your team and doing as much as you can, it doesn't take much. It's not always donations. Just giving your time and effort is always a big impact on the people that live in Habitat for Humanity Homes. This is so great, particularly with members and females from Consigli, just to show what we can do. Today we're huffing dirt. Um, and a lot of it. Having the opportunity to come out and volunteer and give back is just awesome to hang out with some of your coworkers you don't see every day. It's a great bonding experience. I mean, we've been wheelbarrowing all morning and how can that not bring you closer together? The results at the end of the day, it feels really good, but then when you know the project is done and you drive by and just see the final product, it's even better. And you know, you can pass by this building for the rest of your life and know that you, you contributed to it. So it's an amazing feeling. I think it's important to remember that people need help sometimes and it feels good to help people. stores accept donations of new and generally used items that we sell to treasure hunters and bargain shoppers. Visit our restores in Ashland and in Worcester. The more you shop, the more affordable homes we can build for local families. And Habitat's Bid to Build online auction will feature restore gift cards. And so many other great gifts, so stick around and bid high, because the higher the bidding goes, the more homes we can build for local families who need a safe, decent, and affordable place to call home. And remember, Every penny we raise during our online auction supports the Habitat for Humanity's mission to build homes, communities, and hope for local families and veterans.
Hey everybody, my name is Izzy. Um, I'm a U.S. Marine Corps veteran and I'm working currently as a vet assistant at a small animal hospital. Um, and I'm Kaylee, I'm a vet tech at an emergency animal hospital. And... Um, together we met each other in the animal field um, and we have a small family now. We have a son named Emerson, he's around six months and our little chihuahua Evie that we love so much too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and together, uh, we're going to be future Habitat homeowners. One of the reasons we try to find a new home, um, our backyard um, has just a lot of debris and um, we're right next to a highway. So um, it's just not the safest for our dog Evie. And then once Emerson starts walking and playing, um, we don't really feel comfortable with him out there. Um, this neighborhood is safe. And yeah, the overall home is just really um, nice. It's warm. Our house, yeah, yeah, <laughs> our house, um, the heat kind of turns off here and there and it leaks, but um, so we're just definitely looking forward to this new house. Hey, we're here in my future habitat home here. Um, this is the kitchen. So um, I look forward to cooking some healthy meals, um, hosting family parties, finally, um, which would be great. Great, we're upstairs in our new habitat home. Um, I'm really excited to see um, our baby Emerson um, you know, make milestones here, take his first steps, start school, have holidays here. Um, I'm just really excited. Being a Marine Corps veteran, I ended up joining the Marine Corps at age 18, just about a couple months after my birthday. It was a crazy experience, but it, it, it was a great one. And, um, you know, it's definitely something that sticks with you. So being back, um, well, kind of back home, trying to figure out what, what you're going to do in life. It, it was just, um, it was just a, a very different. And uh, when I met Kaylee, it, you know, mm -hmm. it, it definitely changed a lot for me. Um, it was something I definitely needed. And we ended up having a family together and we got to that point where we're thinking about we need a home and um, I wasn't in the best position. You know, I enjoy my job, I love my job, but you know, it's not something that's 100% like, I'm not gonna pay for a great house or anything like that. Um, so, without leaving my job, I tried mm -hmm. to look for other ways and um, I ended up hearing about Habitat for Humanity and uh, they 
they were able to help us out on a, on a level that I didn't think was possible and never seen before. So this whole experience has been um, definitely very, very helpful. We feel pretty blessed about this. Good evening everyone and welcome to our Bid to Build online auction. I am Brian Clancy, President of Habitat for Humanity, Metro West Greater Worcester. For those of you who don't know, we serve 42 cities and towns in Metro West and Greater Worcester. We are currently building six affordable homes in Hollison, Northborough, Worcester, and Sturbridge. As you may know, there's a widening wealth gap between those who own homes and those who are unable to access affordable home ownership opportunities. This has been exacerbated by the pandemic, where historic low interest rates and low inventories have accelerated home price increases. Habitat tries to bridge that gap and to provide housing ownership opportunities to the families seeking affordable home ownership. We serve families who earn 30 to 60 percent of the median income in our service area, which means approximately 30 to 60 thousand dollars per year, making us one of the least affordable home ownership states in the country. Some of the programs and ways that you can get involved with Habitat include an on-site home build with a group of friends or a corporate volunteer sponsor, Operation Playhouse where we build a playhouse for the family of a veteran, visit a restore in Ashland or Worcester, purchase quality furnishings, home goods, or recycled building materials, or simply field a team in Walk for Homes, Women Build, or in the golf tournament. Please visit our online auction during or after tonight's event, and there is something for everyone, including a sale on Narragansett Bay or a sourdough bread lesson with me. Or simply gener generously donate to our fund and need. No matter how you participate with us, 100% of the proceeds will help us build homes, communities, and hope for our partner families in our service area. Thanks to our generous supporters and sponsors tonight, dedicated staff, tireless volunteers, supportive board, and the leadership of Debbie Maruka Hoke.